the world still remembers these images, images of destruction, loss, and fear. Terrorist attacks require not only religious fanaticism, but oftentimes a lot of money to be executed. In the wake of September 11, the United States created a program to help track terrorist funds. The program, which has raised a lot of controversy in the past, has been reviewed by the European Commission. The program was conceived as a secret program whose existence was revealed in the American press in June 2006. Soon after this was publicized, there was the issue of the transmission of a lot of personal data which provoked the fear that the U.S. authorities would use this for industrial purposes. The program's purpose is to track transactions between terrorist cells by accessing database of banks worldwide. But some say this violates European privacy laws. At the time, human rights groups called it illegal and even accused the Bush administration of hypocrisy. The European Commission had to make significant recommendations to fix the problem. The President of the Union and the Commission European have been in contact with discussions with the Treasury American since 2007. These discussions have been in June 2007 to engagements. Du département du... To transfer money, terrorists have traditionally used charities, or the so-called underground banking. But with new technologies, the methods used to track such activities may quickly become outdated. Critics say the U.S. plan simply does not add up. And as one reporter said in the wake of the London terrorist attacks, you cannot kill a terrorist with a calculator. The London terrorist attacks were self-funded. And if terrorist groups are replaced by smaller, decentralized groups, the current program would not be enough. It's very crucial for us to, to have all the elements we can have for human sources, technical sources, financial sources, and all programs contribute to the global efficiency concerning the fight against terrorism. The European Commission report on the U.S. program comes days before the Worldwide Security Conference in Brussels. While using such a program might be an important step, it does not guarantee a success 100%. Anna Moya, Press TV, Brussels.